Hey Collective, it's great to be back with you guys for another Daily Devo. We're moving on from the Book of Acts, which breaks my heart because we could spend our entire lives studying that book. But we've moved into the Book of Romans and we're still following the character Paul. And Paul, this, this book, Romans, it's a pretty rather large book comparatively in the New Testament, is a letter actually. And this is a letter to the, the church in Rome. I'm sure you guys have have kind of caught on to that. But Paul is writing this letter to encourage the Christians in that area who are facing a lot of persecution, a lot of hard things, a lot of uh, death like we are today, a lot of um, just really difficult things that they would have had to been dealing with for their time. And so Paul is encouraging them. And I want to focus on a couple of verses in, in chapter four, verses four and five, where Paul is, is talking to the, the church specifically about what they need to do to get salvation and, and how they not how they can't get salvation. So let's let's check it out. Verses four and five. Now to the one who works, wages are not credited as a gift, but as an obligation. However, to the one who does not work, but trusts God who justifies the ungodly, their faith is credited as righteousness. So that can be kind of wordy, but in essence, what that is saying is that we can't save ourselves. We personally can't do anything we can't follow enough rules or have enough faith or do do enough good things to save ourselves and be with god in heaven what we can do is have faith in jesus who's already done that work and and honestly believe it because he it's true and he did it and so that's what paul is encouraging them throughout this entire chapter no matter what we're facing we can have faith in jesus and we can be saved because of the work that he did on the cross. And so I hope that you guys can kind of place yourself in that position and see that there, that church was going through a lot, a lot, a lot of the same things that we're going through today. Or I should say, we are going through a lot of the same things today as that church was going through then. It, I, if I, in my opinion, it was probably a little bit worse then. And they flourished and Christianity spread across the world in that time because of the message of Jesus. So I hope that you guys can be encouraged and you can see the, the potential um, in these words and the potential in your own life and relationship with Jesus to, to recognize that you've been saved and that Jesus has done the work. So it's awesome being with you guys and I could talk forever each one of these, but I'll go ahead and stop and we'll check it out tomorrow for another Daily Devo.